Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Maria. If this is your first time here, welcome to Sempre Infinitos DIY. So I know we're still in October, but I figured why not do something uh, Christmassy. So I am going to be doing today a snowman. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy this video. So I'm going to leave a list of all of the items that I'll be using in this video in the description box down below. Now here I have um, my cookie sandwich uh, also just so you know that I am only going to be using model magic clay so in case I do not show you the brand uh, you will know that it's model magic so once I form my cookie um, again you want to make sure that it's all conditioned well because you don't want it to crack also, I am going to be adding Mod Podge towards the end of my cookie and the cookie sandwich in this way it will last me a little longer now once I finish my sandwich, I'm going to put it in saran wrap and I'm going to place it to the side. And I am wrapping it in saran wrap because I want it to be soft. So when I add my snowman, I do not need to worry about adding glue to it. And keeping it both clays uh, soft, this will help that process. And of course, without me having to worry about the glue. So here I have six balls. Two will be the legs, two will be the arms. And the only thing to do uh, this is just to... I use the palm of my hand and I'm just going to be rolling it back and forth. This will help uh, prevent any lines and also um, any dents in there. The body, I want to do like a pear shape, if that makes any sense. Um, and then here you see me that I'm just bending the bottom of shaping a foot. Once I have all of my shapes ready, then I'm going to attach them together and have my little snowman. Uh, I do recommend you to let it sit and dry uh, for a couple of hours. I personally let it dry overnight because I wanted to make sure that it was completely dry before I added his uh, face. That I will be using uh, fabric paint uh, and it was that easy to make this little snowman. Now once I have my snowman, here it is all formed i am going to wrap them in saran wrap as well and place them to the side because i do not want the clay to dry just yet so and now i'm going to be doing my scarf now i chose to keep the scarf like a rope shape type if that makes any sense to you um, you can flatten it i did though flatten the ends of it by using my clear block but it's up to you whatever you want to do to it so once I did my um, scarf here, I just wrapped it around his neck. I did not have to use glue or anything like that, which that was great because I, the less I use glue, the better. Um, but of course that is because uh, my clay is soft. If the clay is dry, then of course you would need to use the glue. So once I had done with the, uh, his scarf, then I just went ahead and did his uh, earmuffs. And uh, that as well was easy. And once I get all of that done, I'll place him to the side again uh, and let him uh, sit while I make his little muffin. Now the muffin, again, because I am keeping him soft, I want him to hold the muffin uh, without me having to add any glue. And again, by keeping him all, um, away from it getting dry because I do have my fan running, uh, that would help that as well. And once he is dry, I add his little uh, eyes, his nose, and uh, that is it, you know. Now, regarding his, um, here I'm using a little model tool to give it more of a definition, I guess, if, uh, towards his little earmuffs. Um, but regarding the mouth, all I did was to use one of my molding tools, and I just, like, pressed a... A mark in there which you will see if you do not have one of those tools you can just grab a straw and then cut the tip of it and that will give you that happy face um not the happy face but but the mouth shape and and that was it i mean this is easy and the i do love doing um videos like this where i can edit it because you won't see uh, me struggling with it and I was very surprised that this actually was very quick to do I thought it was going to take longer a lot of editing to but really it did not uh, I guess because I wasn't being distracted when I do a live you know but not that I'm saying that live is bad when I do that you know it's just 
I'm being, like I said, I get distracted. I'm not focusing, you know, and here I, no one's bothering me. No, I'm not, not that there's even a bother, but I, you, I'm hoping you, you understand what I'm trying to say here. Um, I'm just rambling. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's, it was very easy. Uh, it didn't take me that long. I would say that this actually took me about 45 minutes uh, to do all together. So that was really actually pretty quick. And I like that. And here his cute little uh, muffin. And that was it. You know, it was really easy and simple to make. Um, and I hope I, it, you guys, you know, get inspired and do one of your own. Now, if you are wondering why am I doing a Christmas uh, fake bake during October and what have you, it's because in December, of course, I have a plan that I want to make something huge and you will see me doing off and on uh, Christmas things that all of that is going to come into play together. So I really don't want to give away what exactly I have planned out, but this is part of that. So if just stick with me and you'll see somewhere down the road, like hope maybe in, in the, towards the end of November or December, when I'm going to put all of these pieces together. So uh, I will let you finish the rest, watching the rest of this video, uh, which is not that much left <laughs> anyway. But thank you so much, guys, uh, for again, supporting my small channel. Thank you for coming with me on my journey. Uh, again, you know, you guys are the best. I appreciate every single one of you. I love reading your comments, you know. Uh, I love all of that positive feedback. Uh, even your advice on certain things, you know, because again, I am still also learning, you know, so I say, why not learn together? And here he is, you know, I, I think he's cute. So the only thing I'm going to do now is just set him to the side, let him get completely dry and then add him to my, um, other project that I have going on. Uh, well, again, guys, this is the first video that I've ever done that I actually spoke through the entire video and he, all I need to do is just add also a little bit of glitter to that cookie and then we are done. So thank you so much again, guys, for stopping by. I really appreciate every single one of you. And until the next Fake Bake, stay safe, be kind. Bye.